Welcome to the video tutorial for the Traveler's Sleep Mask. So we will be making this today. Bam! It is a sleep mask, but it also doubles as a headband. So if you're traveling, you're done sleeping, now you have a headband. So versatile. So the first thing you want to do is to download the pattern and then select the size that you want uh, and then print your pattern pieces out and assemble them. And if you need help assembling them, you can see my uh, pattern pieces assemble video tutorial, which will show you how to do it. But it's real simple. If you are using U.S. letter, you will line the pages up, butt them up to the uh, blue line. And if you're using A4 paper, you will butt your pages up to the red dotted line. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to get our knit fabric. And we're going to fold it. And we're going to take our pattern piece and we will lay it on the fold like this. Get my handy dandy weight tape dispenser and then we're just going to cut this one piece out very simple just one piece um, we're using knit fabric here this pattern won't work with woven material you have to have some stretch because uh, of the negative ease that's built into it so if you want to get real frisky you could cut this pattern in half like here and then make this side knit and this side woven. It just has to have some stretch there. So, just gotta cut, this is, this is the opening for our nose here. It's very tiny, but it does the trick. Okay, now before I remove my pattern piece, I'm going to transfer the marks on the side of the piece. Oops. This mark here that I'm clipping into the seam allowance is going to tell me when I'm going to stop doing a stretch stitch or straight stitch and switch to the other stitch, okay? You don't want to uh, use a stretch stitch on this entire thing because if you do, it's no longer stretchy. Just half of it. So from here, to the, around the curve, you'll use that straight stitch. And then from here to here, it'll be that stretch stitch. So it'll make the finished part, this part, nice and neat. So this won't stretch. I mean, you could stretch it, but you might pop your stitches. And th then the back side will be nice and stretchy, okay? So with that done, with it cut out, I'm just going to transfer this marking one more time to the other side. We are going to fold this in half, right sides together, lining up these short ends, and we're going to take it over to the machine, and we're just going to sew from here to here, quarter inch seam allowance using a straight stitch. Okay? Okay, so... I didn't think about this beforehand. I should have loaded some thread in there that had a little color to it, but I had white. So I drew over my stitch line in red so you can kind of see it. So don't worry, the next step I've loaded black thread. So this seam is sewn, and now we, what we want to do is we want to sew it in half. And to do that, we're just going to rotate it like this, and we're going to move these pieces away. So we're kind of gonna do a little burrito roll here, okay? So these are out of the way. And we're going to sew these ends together. And as we sew, we will pull the fabric out of this tunnel, and then we will be able to keep sewing, okay? So we're starting in the back, and we will use a stretch stitch, and we will sew to that mark 
using that stretch stitch. And once we get to that mark, we will switch stitches and we will use a straight stitch. And we'll continue that until we get to the mark on the other side. And then we will switch to a stretch stitch. And we will sew two inches away from where we started. We'll back stitch there. We'll stop, we'll pull the material off. We're going to clip our corners. We're gonna clip the curve. And then we'll turn right side out. So that's a lot of information. Let's go over to the sewing machine and get some sewing done. Okay, so here is that seam. I might, I'm opening my seam up like this. I'm just going to get that nice and lined up. And I'm going to do a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm doing a zigzag. I'm going to sew a few stitches and then I will back stitch. Now I'm going to pull this fabric out a little. Hmm. There we go. I'm going to pull the fabric out from this middle part. So I'm going to pull it from here. Okay. Here's that mark I was talking about. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to a straight stitch and I'm at the end. So I'm going to pull some more fabric out of the tube. Now I'm gonna keep sewing. Now I'm getting to my corners here, and when I get there, I want to actually pivot on the corner. So I don't want to sew into the corner and make a hard, you know, uh, left turn. I'm actually going to stop a little bit before then and uh, go at it at an angle. So here I will show you, here's my corner. Okay, now I'm going to raise my foot, one, two, okay, I'll raise my foot again, I'm going to pull some more fabric out of the tube, you want to make sure that when you pull the fabric out of the tube that you're not uh, sewing any of the fabric in the tube. So you want to take it slow going around this corner here. Be mindful of your seam allowance. Be mindful of the tube inside. You don't want to accidentally sew it like I was about to. Okay. Now I'm, get, I'm coming to the other corner. I'm going to do one, two, and then I'm going to raise my foot. We got to pull some more fabric out. So I'm keeping an eye on that other notch because then I'm going to switch back to doing my stretch stitch. Try not to stretch this fabric as I sew, although getting out of the tube, it gets a little stretched out. Having a fabric with a knit fabric with spandex in it, something that's more of a medium weight, also helps with stretching. It's stretching out. So I'm at that notch. I'm going to switch back to my zigzag. Okay. 
here's my seam. So we're getting close to the end and I want to leave a couple inch opening. Okay. So right about there, you can do a bigger or smaller opening if you would like. Okay, so I backstitched and I'm going to trim my threads away. Now I'm going to find where the nose part is. It's right here and I'm going to clip my corners pretty close but not through the thread. And then I'm going to notch into this rounded nose area. Actually, let me get my better scissors. Okay, so it's all notched out. Now I'm going to turn it right side out through that hole. So here's my hole. Okay. And then I'm going to find where that nose area is. And I'm going to push out those corners. Just like that. And giving it a good press would also help this too. Now, what we want to do is we want to close this hole up. So, push your seam allowance to the inside. Mm, like that. And we're just going to sew that hole closed. My thread is about to pop out. Why couldn't it save it? There we go. So we're going to sew this hole closed with a zigzag stitch. You'd want to do this in a color that matches your fabric. For a nicer finish anyways. Okay. And that is really all there is to it. You don't want to top stitch around this whole thing. Um, I don't recommend it, especially if you're using a straight stitch because then it's not going to stretch. But definitely like fold it in half and give it a nice press. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.